In this video, you'll be learning how to make a bed. This is perfect for absolute beginners and is super cute. If you have zero experience in crocheting, don't worry because we'll be going nice and slow so that you understand each step before moving on to the next one. If you like the bed, you can find the rhythm pattern on our Instagram page at Animal Crochet Store. And without further ado, let's get started. So to make our bed today, the materials that you'll need is your amethyst yarn, your white yarn, black yarn, your crochet hook, tapestry needle, stitch marker, a pair of eyes, and also your stuffing. So to begin with, we'll have to take the amethyst yarn, start creating our magic circle. To create a magic circle, you want to put your yarn in between your last two fingers and then go above your index finger like this. Then you want to circulate around your fingers two times like this. And then we can start our first round. So in our first round, we'll have to create six single crochet in the magic ring. So. To create a single crochet, you want to insert your hook under both loops and pull out the yarn like this. You want to do a slip knot first. So repeat that again. You want to insert your hook under both loops, pull out the yarn, yarn over and pull through the loop. Then you want to create our first single crochet. Insert your hook under both loops again. Yarn over, pull out the yarn, yarn over and pull through both loops. That's our first single crochet. We'll repeat that five more times. Under both loops, pull out the yarn, yarn over and pull through both loops. After you finish your six single crochet, you want to count your stitches. Starting off from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you have six of your single crochet, then you can close up your magic circle. To do that, you'll have to pull this little end like this, not too tight, so that you can see once that is moving. And you want to take that moving yarn and you start pulling it from the bottom. And to finish it up, you can just pull the yarn end, like this. And that's how you create a magic circle. And before moving on to our next round, you want to put your stitch marker under both loops of our last chain. Moving on to our second round, you'll need to do an increase for six times. So an increase meaning two single crochet into the same stitch. So let's do the first one together. Insert your hook under both loops, pull out the yarn, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. That's our first single crochet and the first stitch. You want to do that again. Yarn over, pull through both loops. And that's our second single crochet into the same stitch. That's our first set of increase. And you want to do that five more times. Onto our last stitch, you want to remove your stitch marker, 
put it aside and put in our last increase one single crochet and two single crochet into the same stitch after this round you should have a total of 12 stitches so let's count that together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve once you have the correct amount of stitches you can just put back your stitch marker into our last stitch like this moving on to our third round we'll have to do a pattern of one single crochet followed up by an increase and we'll have to repeat that pattern for six times so we'll do the first set together insert your hook under both loops like this and we'll put in a single crochet into our first stitch then you want to put in two single crochet into our next stitch which is an increase now we have finished the first set and you will have to repeat that five more times one single crochet into our first stitch and an increase one and two single crochet on to our last set one single crochet and then increase after this round you should have a total of 18 stitches we'll move on to our fourth round so our fourth to eighth round we'll be doing single crochet around no more increases just single crochet into each and every single one of the stitches To our last stitch, you want to remove your stitch marker and put in a single crochet. Always remember to put back your stitch marker after your last stitch. Moving on to our ninth round, we'll be doing a pattern of one single crochet followed up by a decrease. So, one single crochet into our next stitch and then a decrease. To do a decrease, you'll have to insert your hook under both loops and pull out the yarn. You want to insert your hook again into the next stitch and pull out the yarn. Now you should have three loops on your hook. Then you want to yarn over and pull through all three loops. One, two, and three. And that's how you do a decrease so we'll repeat that one single crochet and then a decrease pull out the yarn next stitch pull out the yarn yarn over and pull through all three loops repeat the pattern until you reach your stitch marker So the last stitch you want to remove your stitch marker and put in our decrease put back your stitch marker we can start putting in our eyes take your eye and put it somewhere in the center like this and remember to leave a 
good amount of space in between so that we have enough space for you to place our mouth. So approximately one, two, three, four. Four stitches away. And you can put in the washers. Once that's done, you want to start stuffing your bed as well because we're on to our last round. So put in little by little. And you can also shape it a bit. Once you're ready, we can move on to our last round. So our last round will just be decreasing around. So decrease for six times. Yeah, move the stuffing away from you. We're like tucking it in. So now onto our last stitch, you want to put in a decrease. Like this. And we have finished the, the body. So take your scissors and cut it. You want to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. Pull out the yarn and pull through all the loops. Now we have a long tail that you want to weave in. So use your tapestry needle and thread through it. Then you're gonna go from the inside into our first stitch like this and then from the outside into our second stitch. Repeat that in and out motion until you reach your last stitch. This. And you can just pull it tight. Now you can hide your hand inside. And you can cut the yarn. Put that aside and we'll continue using our amethyst yarn. We will now move on to the ears. So to create the ears, you will have to do a magic ring again. So if you remember, Put your yarn in between your fingers, run it through your middle two and over your last finger. Then you want to loop two times around your middle two fingers. Insert a hook under both loops and do a slip knot by yarning over and pull it through the loop. Then again, we want to do six single crochet into the magic circle. Now we have our six stitches, then you want to close up the magic ring by pulling the yarn end a little. One that's getting smaller, you want to take that one and pull it from the bottom. Then to finish it up, you just have to pull the end tight. Now we have our magic ring ready, we'll just move on to round two. So in our second round, you want to do single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet. And then another single crochet into the next stitch. 
so two single crochet then you'll have to chain three so to do a chain you just have you don't need to go under the loop you just have to yarn over and pull through one that's two that's a third chain then you want to slip stitch into the second chain so insert your hook under one loop and pull out the yarn and pull it through like this that's our slip stitch into the second chain then you want to skip one stitch moving on to the next stitch which is right here and you want to do a single crochet one and then two and then a third single crochet three now leave a long tail and cut your yarn then you can do a slip stitch into the next stitch like this We have one year done. Now we have two of our years ready. We can move on to the wings. So again, we're still using our amethyst yarn. You want to do a magic ring again. So take the yarn, put it in between your last two fingers, run it over your middle two, over your index finger, and loop two times. One and two. Insert a hook under both loops and do a slip knot like this. Then we'll do our single crochet, and this time you will have to do eight single crochet in a magic ring. Count your stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Once you have the correct number of stitches, you want to close up your magic circle. This one is getting smaller, and you want to pull it from the end and pull it tight. On to the next round, you want to put in two single crochet. One, two and then chain three one two and three insert your hook into the second chain and do a slip stitch then insert your hook into the next chain and do a single crochet Go back into the magic circle and do a single crochet and then you want to chain two. One and two. Insert a hook into the second chain and we do a slip stitch. Go back into the magic ring and do a single crochet. Again, chain two. Do a slip stitch into the second chain go back into the magic ring one single crochet two single crochet then you want to do a slip stitch into the next stitch cut your yarn leaving a long tail for so We'll weave in the ends first. So you want to thread your yarn through your tapestry needle. And this is the yarn end where we started our magic circle, not the one that we finished up. So not the tail that you want to sew into the body. Make sure that you're taking the right end. And 
you want to find any close spot and just sew it in. We're basically trying to replicate the pattern that you see. So maybe like this, it seems pretty secure. And then you can just pass through these loops. Cut the end. After you're done. Now we can start assembling. So start off with the ear. Place it anywhere that you think it looks nice. Facing the front. So the right side, which is the side, is facing the front. So I like it here, so just gonna sew it. You want to do it right in the center. You want to sew it in the same spot for like 30 times around. This looks pretty good, but I might do one a little bit, like one stitch away from it, and then back into the same one in the body, like this. Okay, this looks pretty nice to me, and I'm just gonna hide the end inside the body. So for the wing, you want to put it behind the ears, like it like one two stitches away from the position of the ear and in the set at the center of the body. And again, you want to repeat. I sew it on the same spot. Make sure that they are balanced. And again, repeat it on the same stitch.
Now all we have left is to make the face. You want to take your black yarn and pull up a good length. Cut it and thread it through your tapestry needle. And now you want to insert it somewhere away from the center. So maybe here. Well, you want to pull out your needle somewhere next to the eye. Don't pull it all the way through. Leave a tail on this side and then we'll go past it here. So again, one stitch away from the eye and you want to come out one stitch under and at the center of the body. Then you want to insert into the loop from below. Pull it and insert your hook back into the same spot and out where the end is. Now you have a smiley face. Don't pull it too tight. And you just tie the two ends together. And just cut it. And hide it inside the body. Then you can take out your white yarn and again just take a good amount of white yarn and thread it through your needle. Again, find a spot on the side. You want your needle to come out somewhere. The mouth is. You want to go down one stitch. For example, here. And do the same for the other side. The same spot that we put in our stitch. That's how you can pull it a bit tighter. Like this. To make the teeth for the fangs. And you can tie them together. finished our bat pattern.